Hallelujah. The Bible says that uh, in Him, hallelujah, in Jesus was life. In Him was life. And that life, that life was the light of men. Hallelujah. When we're born again, we are baptized into the name of Jesus Christ. We're baptized into the life of God. In Him. We live and move and have our being. Hallelujah. When we're born again, we're translated out of the kingdom of darkness. And we're brought into the kingdom of God's dear son, who is the light of the world. Hallelujah. And when, you know, the Bible says, now that you are light in the Lord, walk as children of light. And the Bible says that as children of light, we are to have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness. But rather we are to reprove them. And the Bible says that the the darks the, the works of darkness are reproved by the light. You know, if, if there's darkness in a surrounding area, all you need to do is just turn the light on and the darkness immediately goes. And the Bible says that we are the light, we are the salt and light of this world. A city set on a hill, the hill of Zion, hallelujah, that cannot be hid. The Bible says, so let your light so shine before men. Why? That they may see, hallelujah, that they may see your good works and glorify God in heaven. Praise be to the name of the Lord, hallelujah. The Bible says that the people who sit in darkness, they saw a great light being Jesus Christ. And just as Christ was sent, so now also we are sent into this world. As long as we are in this world, we are the light of this world. You know, and people sitting in great darkness, in, in sorrow, in sickness, in darkness, in sin, in depression, or the enemy killing, stealing, and destroying. We are to live life and life more abundantly in Christ, arising and shining. For our light has come, Christ, from the inside out. And as we arise and shine from the inside out, it dispels the deep darkness. Uh, that is covering the face of this earth. The Bible says, Arise, shine, Isaiah 60, for thy light is come, and the glory of the God is risen upon thee. For behold, deep gross darkness shall cover the face of this earth, but his glory shall be seen upon thee. And it says that the Gentiles will come, they'll be drawn, hallelujah, the force of the Gentiles will be drawn to our light. And it is and it is as Christ, who is the light and life of men, who lives inside of Christians, hallelujah. The hope of glory is Christ in us, and as he is manifested within and through us, as God reveals his son within us and through us, hallelujah. Oh, as Christ is lifted up through our lives, hallelujah, then all men are drawn unto him through us. And the fruits of the Holy Ghost, hallelujah, they, they're irresistible. They can't be faulted. You know, I remember a time when I was, this person was trying to get at me and reason with me and argue with me. And, you know, I just kept loving the person and just praising the Lord and, and just arising and shining. And I just share with them something and then get back to worshiping the Lord and doing what I was doing in Him. The guy would walk off and then he'd come back. And said, yeah, but what about this and this and this and this and this and this? I acknowledged God. Simply shared with him something about Christ. And then got back to what I was doing, loving the Lord. He walked off in a huff and then he came back. Now this went on for about five or ten minutes. He just kept walking out, walking in, walking out, walking in. Hallelujah. You know, and he wanted, he was, he wanted to say something. He wanted to accuse and say something against the fruits of the Holy Ghost. But they were so pure and unblameable that he couldn't. He couldn't fault them. And it was that light. That light, hallelujah, which was shining in his darkness. And convicting his conscience. And reproving his works of darkness. Now if he loves darkness more than light because his deeds are evil. He won't come to that light. You know, but as that light continues to shine... It convicts the conscience and it, it, people will be irresistibly drawn to it. The Bible says love never fails. 
Hallelujah. And as the love of Christ just radiates from us, praise God, people will be drawn to that. Darkness, hallelujah, has to be dispelled by the light. There's a song that says, uh, This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. You know, it's a good song, but we don't want a little light. We want a big light, hallelujah. If you get a candle, if you get a lantern and put it in a dark place, you'll see that the area and the radius around that light will be shining. And then there'll be darkness covering uh, around that light that's shining. You know, and, and in the spirit realm, that's, that's what it's like in the spirit. In the spirit realm, we are light shining in the darkness. And uh, as we arise and shine for our light has come, the area around us is reproved. It's the darkness goes and people came in, coming into our light, into our presence. They'll, the fragrance of Christ, the fragrance of the knowledge of God will be given unto them. Hallelujah. You know, but the more we abide in this word of life, the more we look unto Jesus, the author and the finisher of our faith. The Bible says in Hebrews, I encourage you to read Hebrews straight through, uh, slowly meditate on it, but straight through, and you'll see it, that what it's saying is um, that the veil has been rent in Christ. Jesus Christ, when he died, he, he the veil in the holiest of all was rent from top to bottom. Now the temple of God um, was where God dwelt. There was the outer court, the inner court, and then the most holy place. But the most holy place, um, there was a veil that was there. You know, but when Christ died upon the cross, the veil was rent from top to bottom. And now that we're in him, we're in his name, we can come straight through to God with with, un, with, an un, with, with a veil rent. We can come straight to God in the Holy of Holies. And the Bible says that we all, hallelujah, what must we do? What must we do? Just simply come. We are in Him. We are in Him, and through Him we have access to God the Father. The Bible says, "Through one Spirit." Sorry, through Him, through Christ, we have access by one Spirit to the Father. And because we are in Christ, Hallelujah, we're in Him. You know, we don't need to, in a sense, we don't need to say, "In Jesus' name, I come to you." You know, we should put faith in that name. It's powerful. But we are in his name. We're baptised into his name. We are in his name. Hallelujah. And we just come to God. And as we come to God and worship him with unveiled face. The Bible says as we behold. How is, hallelujah. As we behold him. As we behold the glory of God. As in a glass as in a mirror. The Bible says that that image reflects upon us. And we're changed into the very image. From glory to glory. To glory even as by the spirit of the Lord. You know and. Hebrews exhorts us to keep looking unto Jesus. The Bible says, what must we do to work the works of God? The Bible says, believe. <laughs> simply believe, only believe on him whom God hath sent. Just simply look and live. Hallelujah. If there's all different stuff in our life that's getting at us. The Bible says, the, the serpent, just as it was in the wilderness, has been lifted up. And we just need to look. Hallelujah, and keep looking, and keep looking, and keep looking, and keep looking, and keep steadfastly looking till the finished work of Christ, Hallelujah, is made manifest in our life. We're believing on His name, and a name denotes an inheritance. Behind the name of Jesus is an inheritance, and He's given His was His name, and behind that name we have an inheritance, Hallelujah. And that inheritance is the finished work of Christ; that it is finished. And we just need to believe and look, believe and enter in. It's as simple as that. Hallelujah. Through the crown of thorns, the blood flowing, the thorns, the cares of this life. He bore our griefs and depressions, the blood flowed. Through the stripes upon his back, by his stripes were healed, he bore our sickness and disease. Through the nails on the cross, he bore our sin and the blood flowed. And now through that blood, hallelujah, we can be forgiven, we can be healed, we can be restored, redeemed. And <laughs> hallelujah. Through that precious blood. And that blood is on the mercy seat. And God sees it. And as we come. 
it's who God through the name of Jesus and put faith in that blood and keep believing on that finished work. It's made manifest in our life. And then in his name, as we arise and shine, we can manifest it in other lives. Hallelujah.